Hello and welcome to the 2023 Victorian Open here in Ballarat Park. I am your host, Disc Golf Justice. Make sure you head on over to my channel if you want to catch the front nine of this practice round. We're unfortunately about two holes in. We had some microphone issues. My microphone, I guess, froze up, which has never happened before. So having to do some commentary over this one, I'll be talking you through until hole 15 is where I uh, realized that the microphone wasn't working, got her fixed. But hole 10. And par 3, 341 feet, 104 meters. You got a forehand line, you got a backhand line, but you got OB behind the basket, so you do want to be careful. I'm playing with Tim Bowen today. He's a local in Victoria, MPO player. Very good guy, very good player. It was a really fun round we had. We weren't playing the hottest, but we were making it work. I'm throwing a forehand down there with the, with the photon, getting by the basket. Tim unfortunately hitting hitting one of them trees and having to flick it up there. I think I'm gonna have, yeah, just outside of the circle, but there, like I said, is OB behind the basket, and yeah, not able to get that one to go. Timmy able to save his par, I'm able to save my par. Don't worry about the footfall, all right, people? Don't worry about it. This was the hole, if you watch the front nine, where it's like probably the only hole I didn't quite like, hole 11, par three, 322 feet, 98 meters, because it's like, it's a, it's, it's a pretty much an impossible birdie, and I watched all the best players in Australia play this hole. I don't know if anyone ever did get the birdie, but it's just, yeah, so hard to get something that fades that hard over to this basket. But every other hole on this course, I, I truly and genuinely enjoyed this course. It was a very fun layout. I'm giving it another crack here, throwing it out wide, and like I said, this is going to if you got a bomb, if you got a, like a bomber on you, you know what I mean? Yeah, maybe, but Blake Houston was there, and this is, he's like the farthest thrower in Australia. Dude throws like 750 feet, and he couldn't get the thing to, you know, do the thing. So this is why I ended up just, what the heck was that? <laughs> oh, it's Scooby. Scooby came over to help me out with some commentary. Scooby's my dog, if you ain't been uh, watching my videos before. Hole 12, par 3, 276 feet. You can go through the gap on the backhand or you can go out wide on a forehand. I uh, tend to take the forehand line when I can, when it's a gap, when I gotta hit a gap, you know what I mean? I don't like uh, trying to hit backhand gaps. It's hard, it's hard out here for a chump like me. Tim throwing the forehand off of the tee. That's gonna be a circle's edge putt. I think I do actually, do try the backhand line, but like I said, I missed the <laughs> missed the gap. Uh, I'm surprised I did try the, the the backhand line there. I would have assumed I did the forehand there. Tim throwing another one. That one's pretty parked. And then yeah, now I throw the, yeah I do throw the forehand, and now I <laughs> hit the inside gap. That just sums up my uh, my play. If you haven't been over, oh from C2, kabang! I remember this. I remember this. Kabang! That's a bird right there. Well done. And Timmy saying. Hey man, don't forget, I'm a pro. Tapping in his bird as well. Hole 13, straight as can be. Want to keep her low too, so you don't go into the trees. 322 feet, 98 meters. This is a nice hole. Very pretty, beautiful play. It looked really good on camera when we were filming. Got to keep her low though. You don't want her to get that nose up. You get that nose up, she gonna get batted down. Yeah, see me keeping that nose down. Getting a little off the tree. See, Timmy, that's how you do it. <laughs> that's how you do it. I'm just showing Tim how to play his home course, ain't it? No, I'm just talking trash. I'm just talking trash. I'm actually a terrible player. Look at that. No consistency to me. Look at this. Oh, shot, Tim. Go in the... Uh. See? Look at that. That is beautiful. That, not so much. Nor is that. Can he put it in for birdie? I must have sunk this if I left all that in. Oh, that was just rude. That's just rude editing right there. I shouldn't have. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tim. That was a jerk move. I didn't need to leave all that in there. I think I was just, uh... Hole 14, par 3, 243 feet, 74 meters. This is the last hole I'll be doing commentary on. Y'all get to stop listening to my stupid voice from the studio and get to listen to my stupid voice in person as it happened. I no longer have dreads, so take that. 
I did learn on this hole that the microphone wasn't working. You would think I would have picked up on that earlier, but it's never happened before. Tim throwing the forehand. The flexi. Sexy flexi. I must have got batted down. I think I was bagging a Baobab at the time. Shout out to the Bab. Timmy. C2. Kabang! Kachiga. Yeah, and we back. I'll still talk. I'll, I'll walk you through hole 15. You know, two, I know you guys are going to miss me. 285, 87 meters, dead straight. What makes this hole hard is the wind. Sayonara. With wind, it'll just, the difficulty ramps up, but a nice quiet day like today, you just want to be getting it. Yep. Oh yeah, nice roll. Nice roll. Put I apologize close. if we had any uh, audio issues, but I think we've got it all sorted now. Pretty uh, standard hole, pretty straight. Nose up. Envy. Great line, but nose up. That's fine. But uh, daylight today, no wind. That'll be easy. But yep. uh, if the wind goes to typical Ballarat wind, those yep. parts are going to seem so hard. Just high enough. Bang. Just. Two in a row. Drop. Oh, oh get in. Oh, almost off the rebound. <laughs> Slam. <laughs> the windmill. <laughs> That's good. Push, skip. Yeah, a little short, but that's that's what we're playing for. Yep. That's better. If you can take on the tree, skip. Get that good skip. Yeah. Could use a bit more of a skip, but yeah. Oh, that's so high. Get these out of the system, Justice. Yep. Bang. There it's it is. Much easier. Nope. Red hot. Oh wait, which one's 17? This one. I think it's either a sexy bird or a destroyer. What did you do on this one, Blake? You go backhand turnover? Yeah, sort of. Yeah. I'm gonna go with forehand, see how we play it. Turn. Sit, oh yeah. Tuck behind the tree. The only tee pad on this course I like so far. <laughs> Flip, oh justice, that's pretty. Oh, Ooh, dang, that was looking great. We got a celebrity, celebrity shot, Blake Houston, <laughs> farthest thrower in Australia. About cut that tree down with all that heat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play the sexy bed. Let's do it. Get it. Nah, too uh, right. It's too risky. It'd be nice to throw a forehand out this way, but I just think it's asking to go OB, to be yeah. honest. Definitely. There's OB long here, eh? Yeah, OB okay. everywhere. Wow. Yep. Money. <laughs> nice bird. Bang. Justice is playing MPO this weekend. <laughs> Ciao. Last hole. Uh, let me go first because I don't want to be shown up by Blake. <laughs> I, I play this one safe. Just cut it into easy forehand, another easy forehand. Hopefully take a birdie. That's all that's needed. I reckon I'm going to somewhat test myself. I am going to throw into this gap here, which does bring some water into play. So see how we go. 
Turn, yep. please. Nice. It'll be fine. A little too much hyzer, but. We going for one? Let's see it, Blake. <laughs> Blake Houston going for Eagle here. How far is this hole? Okay. So I think you're giving it. I think it's a 150 straight across. He's, yeah. he's talking it down. It's a bomb. It's an. <laughs> he's done it. Over that. I mean, you quit. Oh. oh, don't roll. Oh. I mean, that's a look. That is a look. You probably couldn't see it on camera. He, yeah. he cleared the water, <laughs> hit a tree on the other side, and it rolled back towards the water. Hey, we need to give a shout out to Heiser Flight while we got two of us here. Go ahead. I'm the older, wiser 80 meter thrower, and this boy's the young gun. Next big thing. I'm kind of liking Tim's uh, forehand route. It's much more open and way less dangerous. Yeah, we're gonna play this hole four times, and it's the last hole of the round two, so your power not, might not be right there. If I just feel like it takes the water out of the, out of the, out of the equation. Yep. skinny push yeah that's putt I reckon this is just a zone approach here yep that's looking good yeah, easy do. as that that'll do all right this to get under par bang finally. he's done it took 18 holes but I finally got never a doubt made up from those early mistakes Bang. All right, y'all, that is going to wrap up the 2023 Victoria Open practice round. Tim, thank you very much for coming on. Pleasure, Justice. Thanks for having me, man. Showed me all the lines to hit. Showed <laughs> me some lines not to hit. That's key. Front nine, I think I showed you where you don't want to be. Back <laughs> nine, made up for it. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to come over to Disc Golf Justice and hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.